I literally failed chemistry my first time and here I am. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and be a part of the family. And if you're not new here, hey girl, hey, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping back to support your good sis. It is greatly appreciated, okay? So, as you can see from the title of today's video, I am sharing with you guys my journey to nursing school. Um, <laughs> it's been a long one, okay? A really, really long one. And I'm so excited that I'm at the point where I feel comfortable to share that with you guys. I know it's a little different than the type of content that I do on this channel but y'all there are several layers to a person and nursing has quickly become a huge part of who I am I just want to be able to share that with you guys and talk to you guys and build a community that's not only based on hogs and makeup and hair but also a community of women who can who I can share nursing or other careers or other things that you guys are doing whether it's nursing business or whatever you know without further ado let's go ahead and get into it okay y'all I'm gonna give you a little bit of background I graduated high school in 2014 I was a PSEO student which basically if you don't know what PSEO means I took college classes while I was in high school um, different things different from states to states and from district to district but if I remember correctly you had to have like a certain um, GPA and then you were allowed to take college classes when you started in 11th grade so I started taking college classes my junior year junior to senior year of high school and by my senior year I was most of my classes were at the local community college, Minnesota West, and that's where I took most of um, my college classes, okay? So when I graduated high school in 2014, I had a lot of college credits. I did not graduate with my associate's degree. I know a few people who, when they graduate um, high school, they graduate with their associate's degree, but I didn't have enough at that time to graduate with my associate's degree, but it was pretty close. I had a lot, I had a lot of college classes already done, Okay, so I transferred to um, North Hennepin. I came here and I was staying with my auntie and um, at that time my major was biology. Um, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do, but I think it was whatever I wanted to do. I knew, I know that it was in the realm of healthcare and nursing. So I knew whatever I wanted to do, it was something that had to do with healthcare. My first year of college, Quite frankly, I struggled. My senior year of high school, I had lost my, I had lost somebody in Africa, and my first year of college, also I lost my older sister in Africa. So I literally struggled. It was my first time being away from home. It was my first time learning to be responsible. And I'm not sharing this to like make excuses for some of my decisions or whatnot. You know. I, whatever it happened happened i wasn't attending classes i was crying almost every day like i said my sister had passed away at that time um, it was just a really rough time okay so my first semester of college i failed majority of my classes like i said i wasn't showing up to class i got a complete f in chemistry this is the first time probably anybody is hearing this type of information like even my parents probably don't even know like i failed most of my classes i just really struggled okay like struggled <laughs> like no other after that first semester um i met with my advisor i was part of the trio program um miss alice she was amazing um impeccable woman but yeah i met with her and i just kind of thought about some of my ideas and some of the things that I liked and just kind of thought about if nursing or healthcare was right for me and around that time North Hennepin and Metro were having some type of partnership where you could start your classes at North Hennepin and then transfer to Metro so I was only at North Hennepin I believe for like two or three semesters and then I transferred to Metro but basically after that first semester y'all I had a serious talk with myself like you can't continue like this girl you gotta get your shit together <laughs> so after that first semester the semester after that I got all A's like the semester after that you know I just literally 
buckle up and got my shit together and then I transferred to Metro where um, I completed my degree in human services with a concentration in gerontology um, in 2017. So when I graduated college in 2017, I still didn't feel very fulfilled. I knew I wanted to go back to school. Um, I had attended the information section and I believe it was through Rasmussen and they were speaking about our MSN nursing program, okay? I spoke to a friend about it, actually my mentor, he's not a friend, I spoke to my mentor about it and he had informed me about other schools who have similar programs. The University of Minnesota, Metro State and St. Kitts also have similar programs. They have an MSN um, nursing program and I attended information sessions for Metro, for the U and for St. Kitts, okay? Just because the plan was originally for me to then go on and get my master's in nursing or I also thought about different things, you guys. Like, it was a very confusing few years. I contemplated going to PA school. I thought about getting a master's in public health. Um, I just, a whole lot of ideas. I also contemplated getting my master's in social work, but ultimately I was stuck in nursing, and nursing I knew is what I wanted to do. So remember when I told you guys I was a biology major, so I had most of my prereqs done that these schools were requiring because I, I got those done and I only had, I believe, anatomy 2 and I had to retake chemistry, I think they wanted me to take organic chemistry too and a few other courses, okay, and I believe stats was one of them. So I went ahead and I started prepping my application. The plan was to go to Metro State since that's where I graduated from. I thought they would most likely accept me and then also Metro is more affordable. Their program is more affordable than the U of M. I believe the U of M program, I'm not, I could be mistaken, but I believe it's about 60000 and St. Kitts is really expensive um and then metro their program is about forty thousand. like i said i attended information section for all of these programs so those were my options but y'all each time the applications came around i just got lazy i just i it's like it almost like i was scared to apply and i was just scared you know i would i would watch videos on nursing school and people would say how difficult it is and how you're not allowed to work and at that time in my life, I just couldn't afford not to work out. I'm by myself, you know, I need to pay my bills and whatnot. And it was just a lot going on. So I was like, you know what? I need to be strategic in how I go about this. And I started working. I worked a lot um, around the time of 2019. I just worked and I saved a whole lot of money you guys and the plan was obviously to go to nursing school because people say you couldn't work while you're in nursing school and I wanted to make sure that I had enough money saved to be able to take care of myself for a year to two years while I was in nursing school and then 2020 hit and the pandemic COVID and all of that interest rates dropped and that was around the time I bought my house so all this money I had saved up to go to nursing school I decided now to buy a house so I have to start all over again Around that time, my credits were aspire, aspiring, you know. Um, like I said, I got done with the prereqs around 2018, 2019. So most of my credits were aspiring and I would have to retake these courses again, which was super frustrating. Then, one night, a friend of mine reached out to me. He's like, hey, I know you're planning to go to nursing school and I know you want to get your MSN, your master's in nursing. However, I heard about this super neat program through the University of Wisconsin and um, it's a hybrid program. You don't have to move to Wisconsin. Um, it's about the same cost as Metro. The program I'm currently in is about 40, 45,000, you know? So he was like, I think you should look into it. So immediately my interest grew and I reached out to them. I reached out to the advisor. I sent over my transcripts and they were like, okay, well, everything looks good except you cannot repeat another class. Because remember I told you guys that's that first semester of college on my own, I had really struggled. I failed chemistry. And then um, another time I had gotten, I believe a B in biology or something, or microbiology. So I had to retake my microbiology just so my application would look stronger. I went ahead and prepared my application and I applied to the University of Wisconsin. You guys, 
<laughs> and then immediately when I apply it was again around the time of COVID you know um, facilities were not allowing students into their programs for clinicals and what they had denied I didn't get it I didn't get into the program and I was so surprised because I'm like what I, I meet everything like what's going on you know was it what what do I need to work on and I reached out to them and they said you know what it is because we cannot secure your clinical placement at this time and I was so frustrated they informed me that I would need to get a job with either Fairview, Alina or Regents and I went ahead and I got a job with Alina and I took care of my application and I reapplied and um, and they were able to secure my clinical and hold my spot and I started the program earlier this year it is an accelerated BSN program um, it is extremely rigorous it is so tough literally so it has been tough but you guys like literally I can't believe like in a couple months I'm gonna be done like I said it's, it hasn't been an easy program um, it's been costly um, these clinical rotations are tough the courses are hard it's very fast-paced it is for people who already have a degree so it is for adult learners you know um, and I am basically in a class with some really really smart people but it has been worthwhile and like I said I can't believe I'm almost done and nursing has become a huge part of who I am and that's that's the only reason why I want to share it with you guys because I do want to do some routines some morning routines around my clinicals and just showing you guys how I prep for clinicals and how I steady and different things and um, in a separate video I'll be sharing with you guys my grades from first and se second semester because it has been tough but yeah that's it that's the knickknack of everything that's the juice of it all and I'm just so excited to be able to share that part of my life with you guys and if you're in nursing school definitely comment down below how far along you are I am watching all of the TikTok girlies you guys I am on TikTok I am watching all of the girls in nursing school and I watch a lot of videos around nursing and what the girls are doing and I'm just so proud I am so proud of everything the girls are doing and the only reason I wanted to share this again I want to sh show you guys that part of my life but I also if I can do it somebody else can do it that's that's all it is like you guys I literally failed chemistry my first time and here I am like in nursing school in a very tough program and I am doing quite well I'm supposed to be graduating soon okay so that's it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys were able to see like another part of my life and I will catch you guys next time bye guys <laughs>